Watch that with us. So President Obama saying that he should not have used the word enemies when referring to Republicans, we assume. And the GOP quick to jump on the president's remark. Take a listen to House Minority Leader John Boehner. He said on election day, he says we're going to punish our enemies. Those people who disagree with our policies uh, are our enemies. Now, I can't hardly believe the president said this. You know, when uh, President Bush, President Reagan, President Clinton, uh, George W. Bush used the word enemies, he was referring uh, to global terrorists. He was referring to dictators, they were referring to dictators around the world who hate freedom and hate America. Joining me now, Leslie Marshall, a syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor, and Lars Larson, a syndicated radio host. All right, panel, so now the president apparently felt the need to dial this back because it's picked up some traction in the past few days, Lars, because, you know, going into a big election day, people who disagree with the president on certain issues here, we're talking about comprehensive immigration reform, which there's a real partisan split on, don't want to be called enemies of Latinos, which is what he suggested. We're not enemies. And in fact, if you don't believe in amnesty for illegal aliens, which is what the issue is, uh, you're not an enemy of the United States. You should, shouldn't be an enemy of the president of the United States. And he couldn't have done us a bigger favor than to communicate to over half of America that believes in legal immigration but does not believe in an invasion by illegal aliens. Uh, we're not enemies of the United States and we're not enemies of the president. Leslie, he seems to be suggesting in that soundbite that you heard Mike Emanuel play uh, that the Republicans have misrepresented him on this, that yes, he said, uh, to, this is the exact quote, if Latinos sit out the election instead of saying we're going to punish our enemies uh, and we're going to reward our friends who stand with us, and he goes on from there. So he does say punish our enemies to the Latinos. But now the president seems to be taking issue with that, saying, look, he says the Republicans are saying I'm calling them enemies. What I'm saying is you're an opponent of this particular provision, comprehensive immigration reform, which is something very different. Does he have a point? Yeah, he does have a point because, I mean, first of all, I don't think uh, any president, left or right, should be referring to an opponent as an enemy. And I think the president was right in correcting himself and saying he should have used the term opponent. It would have been better. However, when we hear Mr. Boehner speaking, he is not talking about Latinos and immigration. He's doing a more generalized comment in, in my view of this, which is the president saying that Republicans, all opponents, et cetera, are enemies. So it might be splitting hairs, but yes, the president should say opponent and Mr. Boehner should not not use such a big paintbrush to be so generalized in this comment. But Lars, does it give us any sort of an insight into how the president thinks that he, that he, sure. you know, I guess in an unscripted moment, let that slip? I mean, is that, does that suggest to you that that's his personal view of those people who oppose yeah. what's been, you know, suggested as the comprehensive reform? Yes, it does. And in fact, I think this is Mike, who is it, Michael Kinsley, who said a gaffe in Washington is when you accidentally slip and tell the truth. This is a president who said plenty of negative things about this country in public speeches all over the world and here in this country. He sat for 20 years in a pew and listened to a guy who was a, his preacher who was very negative on America. His wife has said negative things about America. I think this is a slip and a look inside his psyche. I think this is a president who does view anybody who doesn't view America the way he does as an enemy. And the Pew Research Center came out with a new study that says Latinos are not too crazy about illegal I aliens anymore. They were three years ago. About 50 percent of them thought the illegal alien issue was a big one for Latinos. But the president assumes that if you have uh, Latino heritage or Latino ethnicity, that somehow you're in favor of amnesty for illegal aliens. The latest polls don't show that. Yeah. And it's really a, a racist uh, assumption that if you have brown skin, you must be in favor of amnesty Le for illegal aliens. Leslie, let me ask you this, and then I got to go, but because we had some breaking news coming in. But uh, it, does, it, does it suggest anything to you about how President Obama is going to govern from tomorrow forward. In other words, does it suggest, does the initial comment or it's his attempt to dial it back suggest to you he's going to strike a more conciliatory tone in Washington or that he's going to stand his ground and continue to fight the good fight, as he would describe it, against those who oppose his policies? Well, I, I think uh, one of my favorite presidents who was uh, instrumental in being able to work uh, with his opponents uh, was Bill Clinton. And I think that the president needs to look at how is he going to work 
uh, with both parties, his own and the Republicans, if he wants to get anything done, because otherwise we're just we're just going to sit here for the next two years and nothing is going to be accomplished, and that's not good for the Ma American people. Okay. So I do think he has to uh, make some uh, some adjustments, and I think every great leader does. All right, guys, thank you both so much, Leslie and Lars. It's a pleasure as always. Uh, I want to bring you this.